In the film The Enforcer, 1976, the M72 law was chosen as a more potent weapon for Dirty Harry than his trusty Smith & Wesson Model 29. This anti-tank weapon was initially introduced by the U.S. military in the 1960s and played a role in the Vietnam War. Throughout its long service, the M72 law has undergone various modifications and has been exported to 39 nations worldwide. During World War II, the devastating impact of tanks on the battlefield became clear. To counter these armored vehicles, both the Allied and Axis powers developed anti-tank rocket launchers. The Americans created the bazooka, while the Germans developed the Panzerschreck and the Panzerfaust. The M72 law was born out of a desire to combine the bazooka's firepower with the small size and affordability of the Panzerfaust. The M72 law is a compact weapon, weighing just over 5 pounds and measuring at around 34.67 inches when loaded. Its size allows for easy portability and operation by a single soldier. To fire the M72, the operator must manually extend the weapon, causing two mechanical sights to spring up. The weapon is then fired by pressing down on a rubber-coated trigger bar located at the top of the tube. Firing a single 66mm heat rocket, the M72 has a muzzle velocity of 480 feet per second and a range of 33 to 3,300 feet. It is most effective within 220 yards against stationary targets and 180 yards against moving targets. However, beyond these ranges, the weapon's accuracy drops below 50%. The M72 law and its variants have impressive penetration capabilities, ranging from 200 mm to 450 mm against different types of armor. Although it was initially designed as an anti-tank weapon, advancements in tank armor have limited its effectiveness in that role. However, it remains highly valuable for taking out cars, trucks, lightly armored vehicles, and even obliterating doors, walls, and enemy positions. The M72 law saw its first combat action in Vietnam, where it performed well despite some issues. The US considered replacing it with the FGR-17 Viper, but improvements to the M72 proved to be the better choice. The Swedish-made AT-4 was chosen as a replacement, but the M72 remained popular due to its weight, cost, and combat effectiveness, being used in conflicts such as the Gulf War, Afghanistan, Iraq, and even the ongoing Russo-Ukrainian War.